guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So I'm excited to bring you along for this stuffed bacon wrap, stuffed pork tenderloin. It's absolutely fantastic. And it just is a beautiful presentation. It would make a great holiday meal. So if you're having a smaller get together, it would be great for two or three people or even a big get together, just do two or three of these pork tenderloins. And so we're gonna stuff it with the fruit and the cheese and the herbs and, oh, Absolutely fabulous. So I hope it inspires you to stay with me. Go down in the about section, check out all the links that I've left for you. And uh, also go over to my page. If you want to make the jelly that I'm using as my end glaze, you can go over to my um, channel page and in the search bar, search for it. So let's go make this gorgeous pork tenderloin. Come on. Here I've got my ingredients and this is going to be absolutely fantastic. You are going to love this. It is so delicious and it's such an easy way to take a pretty small piece of meat and stretch it out to this gourmet meal. I've got a fairly small pork tenderloin that I butterflied and then I pounded it out with a meat um, mallet to flatten it out a little bit more. I really want it to um, cook evenly and I want plenty of room on the inside for my filling. We're stuffing this pork tenderloin. It's gonna be delicious. So what I wanna do first though is oil this down with some garlic infused olive oil or grapeseed oil. Um, this one happens to be olive oil. And I'm just gonna lightly brush that. I wanna season this inside and out. I don't wanna cheap out on any of that. So, Fresh cracked black pepper, because we love black pepper. And Himalayan pink salt, because of the 87 or 82 natural minerals that we don't get any other way. It's really hard to get a good amount of minerals in your diet nowadays. And then I've got some really delicious aged cheddar that is just crumbly and fall apart. It's fantastic and some dried apricots that is going to be my filling along with some fresh herb we're just going to do we're going to do a sprig of sage and not a sprig but some sage leaves not too many because sage really perfumes well so you're just going to put yeah, maybe five across that whole pork with tenderloin. Plenty. Oh, it's so fragrant. It smells delicious. And then we're going to put our cheese. And that cheese is going to melt and become absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I can't fit any more cheese. Darn it. <laughs> this one looks a little thin, though, so we'll, we'll pile a little piece up there just to make that thicker. All right, and then the dried apricots. These are fantastic, and because I'm glazing this with my homemade habanero apricot jelly, you know it's gonna be fantastic. So we gotta mirror that flavor inside here just a little bit. All right, we got our row of apricots. I think we're good. And then we're gonna roll this up Wrap it in bacon. Goodness. <laughs> Who isn't going to love that? I'm pretty sure my husband is. Whew. And there you go. Roll that up. And I'm going to set this right here, get my bacon laid out, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I'm taking a tip from my buddy Sal um, here on YouTube. I'll leave his link below. Last time I did a pork tenderloin, that I shared with you guys, uh, well, maybe not the last time, but a while back, he improved on my whole recipe by um, doing kind of a bacon weave around it. And so that's what we're doing, even though this one actually is kind of awkward too. The bacon's really at room temperature, which is what I want because this is going in a hot oven. And I want a loose weave. I don't want this tight, solid bacon around this. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put it seam side down. If you want to tie this tenderloin, you certainly can. And um, 
I, I wouldn't I wouldn't begrudge you that at all. So isn't that pretty? We're gonna put this on our baking tray and as soon as we get that on the baking tray um, we're gonna put it in a 375 degree oven until this comes to a temperature of 145 to 150. If you go past that you're gonna risk it being really dry even though we've got the bacon on there we don't want that so I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'll bring you back and everybody's pork tenderloin is gonna take in a different amount so of time. So I have my so. pork tenderloin that is just about done. It's about 10 minutes away from being done. And you can see how that bacon tightens up around it so that loose weave turns into just absolutely fantastic. I opened my jar of habanero apricot jelly and I just heated it in saucepan. And sugar always liquefy so we're gonna put this all over this and when I see that it's caramelizing on there I'm gonna baste it again because we want this to just be fantastic in fact I don't think there's enough here on the sides and this was a half pint jar and if you guys are interested in the recipe for this jelly, go directly to my channel. Just click on Linda's Pantry and you can go get that recipe. Um, search apricot habanero jelly and you'll find it. It's fantastic. Everyone loves it. Back in the oven. So Love here's our finished pork tenderloin and it is absolutely gorgeous. We are going to go ahead and cut into this. I let this rest for about 10 minutes and I just, I'm so excited. It's going to be delicious. The apricot habanero jelly that I make um, just coats the outside of this and makes it fantastic. So we're going to cut the end of that. Oh, look at that. And you want to cut this in like a medallion and you're gonna get the stuffing, the cheese. If you cut into this too soon, you're gonna lose too much of the stuff that you really wanna keep in there, and that's this, the filling. And you want a sharp knife to go through this. And I'm a lefty, so this is a little harder for me to do it this way, but I want you to be able to see it. And one more, oh, and I can smell that sage wafting out of there. Oh, oh, one more cut. There we go. And you've got enough for, I don't know. And you've got enough for how many people? This is beautiful. Look at that. The apricot, the beautiful pork tenderloin. And I'm just gonna lay it out and we're gonna get a picture. Oh, the cheese. And so I'm gonna give you a bite of this end piece here, which probably isn't you know the most tender, but we don't know. I'll give you a bite of this end piece. Oh it looks so good. I'm super excited. We got the bacon, the apricot jam. Delicious. Okay. Oh, mm, good lord. Mm, mm, mm. It's spicy. It's smoky. It's cheesy. The sage is coming through in the background. That pork is fantastic. Oh, and the apricots are amazing. They're just chewy and. Not really chewy like they are before you cook them because they've rehydrated in the juices, but super delicious. I really hope you try this and let me show my you my husband's, husband's plate. plate. And he's got two stuffed mushrooms from our uh, venison sausage stuffed mushrooms with our sweet onion jam. And you can find that video as well as the apricot habanero jelly on my page. I've got some... Uh, fresh green beans that I stewed with home canned bacon and some potatoes 
and I've got a salad and the beautiful pork. So we're ready to go eat dinner and I hope you guys have a great night. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time. I hope I get a thumbs up because this is absolutely fantastic, delicious, and it makes just a decadent meal for an easy, quite inexpensive cut of meat that'll feed quite a few people. So I hope you try it. I'll see you next time.